Okay, this is the PID03 coming in and when you're checking your unit over, you will find in the bag on the back the hand crank and the wrenches to loosen in order to uh, remove the drum. So you need a half inch wrench, half inch. Okay, okay in order to change the drum, yeah. you have to loosen the two bolts on the side of the the uh, gear reducer and and slide it. So that's these two here. And slide it back. Now remove the cover. There's a pin in the front. So okay, and then you just lift it off, clear the way. Put it down someplace where you won't step on it. Now, the two of you can grab the uh, the winch, the, the drum, and you can... Right, there's the other thing. That's for loosening off the chain. Now the two of you just lift it out and clear the system. Okay. Now you remove your chain and pull out your axle. And then you go and insert it into the dummy cable reel, which is the smaller of the two. Place your chain on it. Then bring the drum back. Line it up with the guide inside. Lower it down into the slots. It's in. Then it goes on to the larger sprocket. Push your, push your gearbox back with tensioning, then we'll tighten the two bolts. On the reducer, you have to put it up over the disc brake. Snap it in on the side. There you go. And down on the front, and put in your pin. And that holds it in place. Now, while you're working on the hole, drill hole, you would remove your handles. So you just pull the pins out the carrying handles, they just slide out like so. And you're ready to work by running your cable down the drill hole or whatever application The next part, in order to actually crank the unit back after it's down the hole, is you have to insert the hand crank onto one of the three axles. The one of the back, the one the one that it's on right now is the direct drive up to the up to the uh, drum. The one in the middle is an overdrive, and the one at the other far end is is a uh, increases the gear ratio. So it's a regular uh, what is it about two point something to one? Two to one. Now, now that point there is where you insert in the uh, lock pin to hold. The, the unit in place. So you go to push it in, then you move your, you slide your, rotate your drum slightly until you line up the holes. But it's lined up and he's got it in nicely. Now if you pull all that stuff off, pull out the pin, put it away, take the handle off, give the uh, drum a little spin, then push the brake. The brake is this handle at the back, you push down and then that locks it. And that's all there is to it. So that's the complete operation. On the four system. corners of the winch frame are these uh, tubes for staking the winch to the ground in cases where the cable starts to pull your winch away. So you put stakes in from the back side, going in on an angle, and straight down on the ones on the front. And that will secure your winch to the ground and prevent it from being pulled into the drill hole. You have a two speed set up here. The smaller sprocket is for the signal cable drum, the larger sprocket for the dummy cable reel drum or the wireline drum, which this is right here, this is the wireline drum. With the PID series of winches, we have a number of different sizes of drums. This here is a 25 inch diameter reel capable of handling 2,500 meters of 6 millimeter cable. 
and this is the side where your chain goes on and your disc brake is there. It has a very wide capacity. You can see where your cable goes down into the drum there and then it's clamped down below. You have to take off the outside of the drum. And on this side over here, the little connector housing up at this point here is where your cable from the interior of the drum is terminated. It goes over to the connector on this side on the slip ring and then exits through that connector there. This whole series of parts are completely independent of one another. And this here shows you the way that they are oriented on here. It's very simple to disassemble the unit or assemble it by simply withdrawing the axle and then bringing the uh, slip ring away.